Me, your AI-powered voice assistant, just talk and it learns, remembers, and is able to update a long-term knowledge base to be able to recall information when you need it, as well as have some greater context in the conversations when you're going through and doing it. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch, as well as include all of the resources in the link below if you'd like to get access to it. So let's jump through and see how it works. All we need to come through is actually come to our Telegram chat here, and we can say, please tell me everything that's in your knowledge base. We can send that off. What it will do is we can execute the workflow. It's going to transcribe that message that we've given it. It's going to come through, get our memory from what we've got in here in our Airtable base. It's then going to be able to aggregate the last couple of messages that we've sent through, send it through our AI agent. We're then going to be using Claude, but you could use DeepSeek, OpenAI, whichever LLM you prefer to get an output that comes through. It's now gone through and checked our memory. And as you can see here, it's now provided a response back. And that's how quick and easy it is to interact with your knowledge base to be able to actually have a conversation with an agent that knows more about you, its objective, and much, much more as well, versus just the five or 10 messages that you tend to get in your chat's memory that comes through. So let's jump straight in and see how we build this. We're going to come into a new environment. We're going to make sure that it's all set up. We're going to come across to our classroom. We're going to come into here, NA10 AI agent. We're going to come down to our blueprint. We're going to download this blueprint. And then what we're going to do is come back into our scenario and we're going to do import from file. And then we're going to select this JSON file. We're going to load it up and there you go. It's all ready to go. But as mentioned, we're going to be building this from scratch together today. So we'll call it long term AI agent and we're going to trigger this through Telegram. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to do Telegram. We're going to be able to come down to where we've got triggers. We're going to do on message. And now we need to go through and set up our agent. So we're going to want to come across here. We're going to do create new credential. And now we need to add in our access token. So to do that, we want to come back off our account. We want to search for bot father. As you can see here, there's one with a blue tick. We want to go through into that. Most of this is going to be blurred on the left hand side. But when you first load this up for the first time, this is the main message you're going to see. And we want to look for a new bot. So if we click on that, we now need to come up for a name for our agents. So voice AI long-term knowledge base agent, we'll send that off. And then what we're going to do is just paste it in again, but we're going to change agent to bot. And now we should get through a congratulations message. We're going to get a link there to be able to chat to our agent. But as you can see at the bottom here, we're going to get an access token and that's what we need to copy across. So we'll click on that. It'll copy it to clipboard. We'll paste in there. We'll do save, it'll come through and authenticate it. And then what we're going to do is just add in our agent's name so that we can make sure that we've got our credentials all named and ready to go. Because again, if you've got multiple different agents with multiple different channels, you want to make sure you're using the right one. So that's going to be all good to go. We then want to click where it's got our link. We'll do this, we'll just say test step, we'll start. As you can see there, if we come across to schema, we've got start in here somewhere. So there we go, text start. If we do it again, we can say test, we'll do test step. We will send that off. And as you can see there, the text has just changed to test. And that's how we're going to be able to capturing the information that comes through in the voice format. So to do this, we're going to do Telegram. We're then going to do get a file. We want to make sure that we get the file ID. So we'll do ID in there for now, because we'll give it a test. We then want to come through and add a open AI module. We're going to come down to transcribe a recording and then what we're going to do is connect it all up and leave it as is because it will be able to do it automatically we'll call it transcribe voice note and we'll save that as is and we just called it get voice note as well so that's how we're going to be able to get in the file so if we just do this again what we'll be able to do is come into here we'll then change this to say testing testing one two three we'll then do test workflow and what we can see here is this won't execute because we've not provided it the file ID. So we'll just change this to expression, come across to the left hand side here, get the file ID, pull it across, and now we can do test step. And as you can see there, it's able to download the file. And if we come back into our OpenAI module that's going to transcribe it, we can test this step. And as you can see there, testing, testing, one, two, three. So it's able to get that information through nice and easily. So that's the first part, which is around getting that request from the user. The next part, we want to come into our Airtable account. And then what you want to do is set up something that looks like this. So we've got a base in our Airtable account. We want one table that's going to be called long-term memory. Again, if you wanted to have multiple different ones, you'd be able to do that as well. 
all you would need to do is have different tools on the right hand side here just connecting into those knowledge bases but we'll be able to do that a bit later on when we run through you're going to want the id now i've done this as a formula so all you need to do is come through and select formula in the field type so come through formula as you can see there and then all we've done is input record id and what it's going to do is automatically generate a record id for us every time we add something in there i've called this one memory details all we've got in here is long text so that we're able to go through and add everything and this one on the end here is just created time we've got 24 hours for the format we've got it in european just because that's what i use and we'll be able to go through and use this base but how do we connect this to our agent well to do that you want to come across to your profile you want to click on where we've got builder hub we want to come across to what we've got here you want to create a new token so we'll give it the name that's exactly the same as the agent we're going to be using the scopes you can come through and add as much of this as you want i'm going to go through and add in the ones that we really need in here so we're going to need to be able to do the schemas as well as the data records read and write so that's going to be everything that we need for now and then we're going to add the base in here so we'll do self learning ai agent because that's the base that we've got we want to copy this access token we'll come back into our account in here we're going to come through and add another node so we want to do table we then want to do search records we want to add another authentication so if we come in here do create a new record we're going to add in our access token we're going to rename this to our agent we'll do save and then what it should do is come green so as we can see there we're now all connected so what we'll be able to do is if i come into here we want to come down to our base so this is going to be that main base that we have up the top here the green one and then the table will come down and do long-term memory because our table has been named long-term memory so you just need to make sure that you're able to do that now we don't want to return all of the information so maybe we'll just do the top 50 that come through and we'll leave the rest as is or again if you wanted to filter by a formula you'd be able to do that as well that's where it's quite useful perhaps using some of the from ai parameters so that it can automatically go through and filter some of the data if you want it to so as we can see here what we can do is test and then as you can see here it can pull back some of the information as we need it and it's output 11 items from the knowledge base so what we'll do next is come through and use an aggregator module so we'll come across aggregate and then what we're going to do is individual fields we'll come across to schema and then we're going to do memory details so now if we do test step as you can see here we've got lots of different memories that we're able to recall at any one time which is everything that's in our knowledge base at the moment or our long-term memory that we've stored we don't need to add anything else in there we can close that down so now we've got the ability to transcribe the voice notes and gather all of the memories so the next part is we need to use a merge we're then going to come down and do combine we're going to do all possible combinations and then we're going to do input one as our voice note and input two as our memory so this will be merge memory plus action because the action is going to be from the top here which is going to be from our user so we're going to store this as get memory brilliant so that's the first part so now we're going to go through and actually be able to get all of the information from our user as well as go through and give it to an agent so if i do test workflow we can come through and say what is nvidia's market cap so we can come through it's going to come and as you can see on the right hand side here it's now transcribed it so it says what is nvidia's market cap we've gone through and get all, got all of the memory so if we come back into here we can see that it's recalled all 11 items from our memory because we've said that it can have up to 50 and now if we come into our merge as you can see here we've got the text from our actions the transcribed voice note as well as all the memory at the bottom here that we can use in our conversations so the next part we're going to go through and do advanced ai we're going to do ai agent and then what we need to do is change a few things in here so first things first we're going to change this to define below we're going to come across to schema we're going to add our text in there because this is going to be the action that we want it to take or the information we want it to use or store we want to come down to system message and then what we're going to do is change this to expression and pop this up now i've already got a prompt ready to go so what i'm going to do is copy and paste this across and then walk through exactly what it looks like so we've given it a really clear goal where it's basically going to leverage its knowledge base provide responses back to the customer as well as have the ability to update our storage our knowledge base in Airtable if we needed to do so we've given and repeated that objective we've then given it some information around how we want that response to come back we've given it some useful information like today's date time if it's relevant for that conversation we've said what the user's message is we can say how we want it to come back in its response so conversational engaging less robotic 
I really like Claude as a model to be able to do this. It sounds much more conversational than some of the other ones out there. We've got some of the response formatting. We've got the memory. So as you can see on the left-hand side here, this is all of the memory details as an array. So if you were to delete that, pull that across, that would be all of the memory. So up to that 50 items to be able to use in that conversation. We've also reiterated any of the points at the bottom here around integrating and updating the memory. And again, this JSON.txt, all that is is if we get rid of that, it's from our merged element here. We're putting that across and then using that in there. And as you can see on the right hand side there, this is how it would look to a AI agent. So this is one of the things I love about NA10 is that we can see here, you know, all of the information that it would be using if it needed to go through and do that. So that's great. That's all we need from that step. What we're going to do is come through and add in our AI brain. So we're going to use Open Router for this. Again, you can choose whatever you want. If you haven't used Open Router before, you need to create a new credential and all you'll need is your API key. So to do that, you want to come across to Open Router. Open Router is great because it's got lots and lots of models that you can use. So for example, here, you've got all of the different ones that you want to use, hundreds of models that you can go through and leverage everything from free versions all the way through to paid versions. So again, whatever you need. If you've got an account, you want to come across to keys and you want to create a new key, give it a name, copy that API key across, come back into your agent and then paste it in this new credentials and it will be all good to go. It will be authenticated. We've already got an account set up, so we're all good to go. I'm going to change this to Anthropic and then we're going to come down to Claude 3.5. It'll be interesting to hear your thoughts on OpenAI's 4.5 model. Again, not being that frontier model of five, it will be interesting to see your thoughts on it. We'll call it AI Brain. And then we'll save that. Now we're going to come through and do memory. So we're going to do Windows memory buffer. We're going to change this to define below. Now our key, that's going to be the chat or session interaction. And as we're using Telegram, we want to come down to where we've got this message ID. We want to pull that across. That'll be all good to go. Now you can change the context lens for how many conversation or previous messages is going to pull through. So in this case, we've got five. If you updated that to 10, it would just be the last 10 messages it would pull through. And we'll just rename that to chat memory. Now, this is the key part. So we're going to go through to our tool. We're going to go to Airtable. We're then going to go through, make sure that we're using the correct one. We're going to come down to create. And then we're going to go through and add our bases. So we're going to do self-learning. We're then going to come down and choose our knowledge base table that we've got here, our long-term memory. So we'll just wait for this to load. There we go. We'll choose long-term memory. Now we're going to come through and map each column manually. And why are we going to do this? Well, we're going to change this to expression and then we're going to add in what we've got here, which is a from AI parameter. This is really useful. What it's enabling us to do is leverage AI to specify that input we're going to use. So it's nice and dynamic. You've got some examples here. So we'll copy this across from our previous agent just so we've got it ready to go. So we'll paste in the command that we've got. So as you can see here, if we open this up, we're going to be using the memory notes or what we've got in here, the memory details. So we can change that. We're going to say that we're storing the information requested by the user and we're using it as a string. So it's always in a consistent format and it's nice and easy to recall. So we've now got the ability to actually go and store memories as well. So if we come through and do save, we'll be able to just give this a quick test. So we'll come through and say, please, can you update the knowledge base to say that we've used this agent in a YouTube video recently? So we need to recall this in the future. So we can send that off. As you can see, it's going through transcribing it. We're then going to be able to use the AI brain. So our LLM to then go through and update our knowledge base. So now if we come back into our knowledge base, as you can see here, we've got a new record. And if we open this, as we can see here, it's just been able to dynamically update it using our AI LLM sort of brain to know what information we want to store in there. And to get a response back, all we need to do is come through to Telegram. We're going to do send a message, send a text message. There we go. And all we need to do is come down and add the chat ID. So for example, here, pull that across. And then what we'll be able to do is the text as well. So in this case, it will just be the output from the AI agent. So there we go. We'll add that in there. We don't need any markup, but you can add that in there if you want. We're not going to add any other fields. So all we're going to do is say test step. And then on the left-hand side here, as you can see, it's been able to go through and add that information back into our chat. So now if we give this a quick test end to end, now what we'll be able to do is get information as well as be able to update it. So let's give it a two quick tests. Please tell me if you've got any knowledge around NVIDIA's market cap or anything around Microsoft deploying Copilot. So we can send that off again. It's not got any abilities to go off to the internet yet. We can add that in the future using SERP API. 
it's going to come through it's been able to aggregate the information and we should get a response back on the left hand side any minute so there you go as we can see again you can use that prompt to change how you want that response to come back now we'll go through and update our knowledge base so we'll go through and say please can you update the knowledge base to store the lando norris won the australian grand prix today so we can send that off again we'll do test workflow what it will be able to do is go off and store all of this information and go through and add it to our knowledge base so now once that goes green on our air table as we can see there if we come back in here as you can see we've got all of the information stored so that's how quick and easy it is to go and update our knowledge base and we've got the information on the left hand side here so think about all of those use cases where you're getting really frustrated you've not got the memory behind the agent this is going to solve that exact problem I hope this was useful. I'll include all of the resources in the link below. Stay tuned for more around AI agents and have a great day.